Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to start the last one of the weekly vlogs for October. This is sad but um, you know it always it always comes to an end somehow. So we will do this last vlog now and I do have big plans which will probably fail so bear with me. But basically where we're at I have half an hour left of my audiobook House of Hunger so I will definitely finish that on my way to work today and then we get to choose probably one final creepy audiobook. Um, I'm not quite sure where I want to go with it yet. I really want to listen to something that will actually frighten me I think so I'll have to think about that a little bit but that's the plan for the audiobook so I will give you my final update on House of Hunger later today probably and then for my physical reading I am reading Plain Bad Heroines and I'm right at the start of the second part so I'm a little bit more than halfway through now um, and I'm very excited to get to the second part so far I'm really really enjoying this book it is very slow we still haven't arrived at the actual school yet so keep that in mind if you want to pick this book up um, it definitely takes its time but I love the writing style and the way the characters are presented to us the way that we get so much background on all of these characters is really fun and it's just one of those books that won't work for everyone but it definitely works for me so I'm very happy about that and I hope that I will be able to finish the second part of this and then read one final book because I have one more library book I want to get to. We'll see about that, but I'll keep you updated. And for now, since it is Tuesday, I'll have to head to work. Good morning. It is Wednesday today. I have a little bit of a slow start to the day. I'm actually quite tired and worn out, but I will head to work in a minute. I just wanted to give you a quick update that I did finish House of Hunger um, yesterday and I decided to give it four stars. Um, it is a weaker four stars for me, but I did enjoy the book and I also did enjoy the ending. I think the strongest point for this book is the atmosphere and the world building. I was really pleasantly surprised that this is an actual kind of fantasy world setting because I thought it would be more like England inspired, like you know, Victorian times and then we have just a couple of like fantasy elements but it's actually set in a complete fantasy world and I really enjoyed that. I would have loved to see more of it and maybe one day there will be further books set in that world, I don't know. I also don't know if the Year of the Witching is also set in this world or if it's completely different because I haven't read it yet. But I think that was like super well done. I really enjoyed that. I also think that the descriptions of the house and how confusing and labyrinthine it was, was really well done. I also really enjoyed the main character. I think that she was so interesting and flawed and I could always really understand where she's coming from. I kind of enjoyed the kind of romancy bit, but I would have wished that it was explored even more. I think that the kind of switches in, in the feelings were all a little bit fast and not explained very well. Um, and that has obviously to do with um, the kind of magic in that world as well, but I just thought it could have been explained a little bit better. And the plot was intriguing but I think I would have liked the emphasis to be on different parts. Um, I also felt like some of the elements that were added in were for pure shock value um, and didn't really do anything for the story per se so that's also something I would have like to be a little bit different. So overall I would recommend it especially if you do like gothic fiction which is not my favorite type of literature so um, I think that you might enjoy this even more than I did. But I did have fun with it and I would recommend. And so I decided, I was decided, <laughs> I decided to start a new audiobook now and I think this will be 
probably the last spooky book. Um, I do have some like more cozy witchy books that I want to listen to in November but for the spooky stuff I think this is gonna be the last one and after a very hard decision process I decided to go with The Hollow Places by T. King Fisher. Now I have read my first T. King Fisher book in September and that was Nettle and Bone and I absolutely adored it so I was intrigued to read one of her more yeah, spooky, creepy books. Um, and there's three, I think. We have The Hollow Places, The Twisted Ones, and What Moves the Dead. Now, What Moves the Dead was a little bit too short for what I wanted, because uh, the audiobook's only around six hours. So I decided to go with The Hollow Places. Um, I think... Yeah, I don't know. I've heard such mixed things about it, so I have no idea what to expect, but I really want to love it. I have listened to the first hour by now and I am enjoying it so far. The uh, main setup is that we have a woman, she's in her 30s, she's just getting divorced from her husband and so she moves back in with her uncle who has a museum for the wondrous stuff. So there's a lot of weird shit in that museum and she goes to help him because he's getting a little bit old and he needs some medical treatments and so she is basically running the museum for a time and they have just discovered the whole hole in the wall <laughs> and um, so I think it's gonna get going now so it's very very quick in the beginning the setup is presented in a very concise way which I really enjoy I don't like it when the backstory is like dragged out a lot so so far I'm really liking it I'm liking the main character I think the way T. Kingfisher writes characters it works really really well for me I love the uncle he is so cute <laughs> He does believe in like all of these like conspiracy theories and like Bigfoot and the Chupacabra and stuff like that. But he's like very liberal with it. He's like anyone can believe anything and that's fine. And yeah, it's just so cute and so wholesome. So I really like his character. And then we have Simon, who is the barista of the coffee shop next door. And I'm not quite sure what his deal is. <laughs> if I understood it correctly, he is gay, but I'm not sure if I understood it correctly. But basically, he's the handy guy, so he needs or he wants to help to fix up that hole. Um, and yeah, we'll see. They're exploring now and I'm intrigued to see what it is. I've heard it's very bizarre and very strange and the whole idea of that hole and the like uh, hallway that is behind it really reminds me of the House of Leaves <laughs> and I really love that concept. So I'm intrigued to see where that goes. I think it might work really well for me but it could also be a miss. We'll see. So I have a lot of books that I'm gonna read in October. Lots of dark so this is not the kind of weather you want when you're listening to The Hollow Places. So it is Friday and the combination of working full time and working out more again is definitely crushing me. <laughs> I'm so tired and just done and... I need it to be weekend, so um, yeah, <laughs> one more day to go and then I have kind of like a long weekend. Um, I am almost halfway through The Hollow Places now and I'm really, really enjoying the book. I actually feel like this is an adult version of Rules for Vanishing. The plot and the narration style and the characters are very, very different, but the world and the kind of creepiness you get is super similar. So if you enjoyed the kind of setup and the strangeness of the horror in Rules for Vanishing, I think you will really enjoy this world and the creepiness of the hollow places. I think it's really, really good. I like the strange, the bizarre. I really enjoy that. And uh, there are some some really creepy scenes. Um, this is mixed up with the kind of humor and snark of T. King Fisher, which I really enjoy. I think it works quite well. It never gets too scary. And I also really like the idea that 
these things, uh, whatever is in the hollow places, they will find you when you think of them. So our main character is desperately trying to think of other things while creepy stuff is happening. And I think that's a really interesting concept as well, because she starts like thinking about how uh, unfair some people in the like fan fiction spaces are <laughs> and stuff like that um, in the middle of a very, very creepy scene. Um, but yeah, so far it really works for me. I'm intrigued to see where it goes now. As I said, I'm like almost at the halfway point. And so the last little bit I listened to, it said that they found their way home. And that is a little bit too optimistic for me. There's still half a book to go, so that can't be right. But we'll see what happens next. I'll head to work and since I can walk to work, I always listen to a little bit more of my audiobook on the walk. And yeah, I'm very intrigued, very, very interested to see where the hollow places go. Unfortunately, because how busy everything is, I have not found time to read any more of Plain Bad Heroines. I'm making that my project for the weekend and I'm very excited for it. But yeah, it's just been too busy. Hello, I may look super sweaty because I just cleaned my apartment and stuff. I'm having another weekend with a migraine, so second in the row, amazing. Um, I took something, we'll see whether it helps. Um, right now it's quite okay. Um, it's Saturday, it's a long weekend for me, which is very exciting and definitely needed. And I will continue reading Plain Bad Heroines in a second, because there's some exciting reading sprints that will start in 10 minutes. Um, so I hope I get some reading done now for the rest of the day. I'll probably get a snack in a minute. Um, I'm also quite a way into the hollow places. And the last time I updated you was around the halfway point. So I have listened to a little bit more now. I think I have about two and a half hours left. So still a bit to go. But um, I was quite surprised because the last thing I said is that... Um, it said something about them getting home from this weird world I was talking about. And they actually do, which I don't consider a spoiler because, you know, it happens in the middle of the book and there's still so much going on. So I guess we don't really know whether they really got back or not. But it still shifts the mood of the story quite a bit because you're not in that like super nonsensical weird world anymore. To, at least not all the time. So um, yeah, I'm intrigued to see where it goes, but I think I enjoyed the first half a lot more because that world was just so scary. And yeah, we'll see about that. On the other hand, in the real world um, where these characters are from, there is a cat called Bo and he's just, he's a king, honestly. And I just wanted to take a minute to celebrate that cat because he is fierce <laughs> and I love a good fierce cat in the story. So I'm still very much enjoying it. It is um, around a four star for me but we'll do see what the ending does. Maybe it gets like super freaky and I don't know maybe it still blows my mind in the in the end. But yes so now I'm gonna grab a snack. I'm gonna um, turn on the reading sprints and I will sink my teeth into Plain Bad Heroines. So there is now less than 200 pages to go and I think we finally have all the important characters at the actual house. Yay! Thank you. 
so we have two days left for this vlog and I thought I'd give you a quick update. I now am 500 pages into Plain Bad Heroines and I'm very excited uh, because the spooky stuff is starting to happen and it is pretty gross. Um, trigger warning that it has something to do with taking drugs in the broadest sense of the word. Um, that's not always what I enjoy, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's definitely getting spookier and we're getting more reveals now and I'm very excited to read the last, I think, 140 pages, something like that. So I would like to try to challenge myself to finish that book today. I do have a migraine still, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to finally finish that book. Now, if I do manage to finish it today, I will try to read A Monstrous tomorrow because that's, that's also still on my TBR and yeah. I have two volumes of that lying around here that I haven't read yet. So we'll see. Um, I'm hopeful. With my audiobook, I have one hour left of The Hollow Places and I'm very much enjoying that one as well, even though I loved the first half way more than the second half. But I feel like we're pretty close to the conclusion now and uh, I think this will turn out to be kind of like a four-star read probably, um, but one I really enjoyed and I had a lot of, a lot of fun with. and. Um, yeah, that might happen tonight or maybe tomorrow morning uh, I will finish that off and that will be my last like spooky, scary audiobook for now. So that's how it's going. I hope um, you're having some great days leading up to Halloween, even though you will probably see that after. <laughs> so yeah, talk to you soon. So the migraine is still here, still with me, amazing, but happy Halloween everyone, I hope you have a good one. And this is my reading plans for today, so I want to reread Monstrous Volume 5, which is the last one that I have read, and then I want to read Volume 6 and 7, we'll see how far I can get with my brain and all, but um, that's the plan, I'm very excited, I love this comic series. It's the only like graphic novel series I'm following right now and yeah the art is amazing and it's just so intricate in the plot as well and I'm very intrigued to see where it goes. So it's a shame to be two volumes behind. So I just went on a pretty long walk. Um, uh, and I bought some winter teas, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, but I had to walk quite a bit to the store that actually has the good tea selection. So that was that was nice, actually. But now I'm back and I feel pretty horrible. <laughs> like it was definitely too much um, for today. But I have some pumpkin soup now. And I have the new John Oliver uh, video up, so I will probably consume that and then lie down and start reading Monstrous Volume 5. And hopefully that will help. While I was on my walk, I started my new audiobook, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. 
This been, this has been making the rounds, and I've heard that it's similar to uh, um, the Cerulean Sea, the house in the Cerulean Sea. So I was in the mood to transition out of the like creepiness, and I think that's a good book to do it with. But yeah, um, it was nice. I like the beginning. We've just arrived at the house with the main character. And I think I will talk more about the book in my November vlogs. Um, because I won't get far into it now. So it is now almost half past five and I have finished my reread of Monstrous Volume 5. I forgot how much I loved this, honestly. Um, each volume is just better and better in my opinion, at least up until that point, and I love Volume 5. Um, it's so good. I love this world and I was really worried because um, I hadn't read the beginning of the series for a while, so I originally thought I should reread all of them to really be in the story again, but rereading this volume definitely put me back into the story and I had a moment where I almost cried, I had like a goosebumps moment and stuff like that, so I think it's fine, I think I can enjoy the next two volumes just having reread this one and it's just so good. Um, this series is just so good. It is confusing as hell, but I still enjoy it a whole lot. And I think the whole motivation of the characters and just the world and how stuff works is just so good. And you will just never see the connections of the characters coming. It's, just, it's so, so good. So I will move on to the sixth volume in a second. I'm not quite sure whether I will be able to finish it. I am pretty sure I will not be able to read the seventh one today, but then I'll just keep it for tomorrow or something like that. Um, so yeah, I wanna make some pumpkin pizza later. So that's also in the cards. And then I have a Zoom date with my partner. So that's why I don't think I will be able to finish the next volume. It took me quite a while to read this, like three hours maybe, something around that. And I will not have another three hours to read, I think. But I realized through the migraine fog in my brain that I also haven't updated you on Plain Bad Heroines. So I did finish this book last night in the bathtub and it was good. I had fun with this book, but unfortunately it was not the five stars that I wanted it to be. I decided to give it four stars in the end because I think it is very well written. It definitely has the gothic vibes and the characters are fleshed out quite well. Even though I said that in the beginning, I had a hard time keeping track of the characters in the now timeline and that they blended together a little bit too much for me like with all of these three girls the father doesn't really play a role and I kept mixing up what the reason for that was like one was a divorced father one father was dead and stuff like that so I kept mixing up whose father is what uh, for example and that's just one of the things that I was a little bit confused about but apart from that blending together a little bit I think this is quite excellent it is a very very slow moving story and if you expect a haunted school setting they don't arrive at the school until like the last uh, 200 pages and even then I feel like you don't really see a lot of what's going on at the school at all. So don't expect that, um, but if you just want a very slow moving story with a ton of queer characters, um, a lot of women loving women, uh, this is really good and I did like that it had some poly wipes as well. I think my favorite character was actually Libby. I could really identify with her and I would have loved to hear more about her. And I think that her story was actually the one that I was really interested in. And also the ending of her story was like the creepiest one, I would say. So um, yeah, I think I, I, I wouldn't have really needed all the other stuff. Like if this would have just been about the Libby story, I would have been completely fine. I probably would have loved it even more. 
Um, but yeah, it was fine. It was good. Um, I don't know if I will keep this book now, if I will ever read it, to be honest, because, um, yeah, it's just vibes, you know, vibes and very good writing and interesting characters. But um, we'll see. Uh, that's my thoughts on playing Bad Herons. I'm going to start Monsters Volume 6 now and in about, I don't know, an hour or so I will make my pizza and have my Zoom date. I'm not crying, you are. Mm. I will start making dinner now, but I read the two talk stories that are the beginning of Volume 6 of Monstrous. And those are stories from the past of Kippa and Micah. And it's so sad. <laughs> it's just so sad. Um, I love Kippa. She's amazing. Um, am I ready for the rest of this? I'm not sure. So the month of October is over and so is this vlog. I didn't read much more last night. I got about halfway through Monstrous Volume 6 and I'm really really enjoying it. I think this is my favorite volume so far so I would highly recommend picking it up. But yeah, it was a fun month. I hope you enjoyed the weekly vlogs. There will not be weekly vlogs in November though. <laughs> so yeah, I had a lot of fun with these books. I read a lot um, for the time that I had and I'm actually very pleased with the books that I read. Like there was only really one disappointment so that was good as well. Leave a nice comment or a like and I will talk to you soon. Bye!